you know, when I was a kid, some of my friends would, you know, they would play and do all that or go skateboarding or whatever, but there was sometimes where I would just want to watch my dad paint for a little bit and hang out with him or do my own little painting. He was actually uh, the head of the art department at uh, Fullerton College, right down the street from the tattoo shop that I own now. After he died, when I started tattooing, I didn't realize how much watercoloring was in tattooing. But when I started watercoloring again, most of it came back, but certain things, certain fundamentals, I was just real rusty on. And I dug up the, the VHS tapes and I actually relearned, all his lessons were on it, so I relearned how to watercolor by watching his lessons on VHS. I still have all his brushes, and there's certain ones that I won't use on certain, like I won't put ink into them, like black ink, but I'll, I'll, just, I'll only just use watercolor paint with them. So that way I'll, I'll make them last for a very long time. They're expensive brushes, so they should last all the way until my son starts watercoloring, if he ever decides to watercolor. And I mean, I always just wanted to be an artist, you know? It was just something I always wanted. It was like in me. Ever since I could hold a pencil, that's all I wanted to do was just be an artist. I feel super blessed that I get to carry on the tradition of classic tattoo. That is classic tattoo, you know? And, and a lot of guys who haven't been there in a long time, who are old Eric's little friends, they walk in too and they say, man, the vibe's back. Like classic tattoo's back, man. The energy and the, and the positivity and the, the, just that feeling, man, it's back. I got my first professional tattoo there when I was, when I was super young by Big Frank. My dad taught, you know, across the street for 15 years or whatever before he would, he died a block away from that shop on his bicycle. My mom taught across the street at the high school for 18 years before she just retired the year that I bought the shop. You know, John Troller that works there, I tattooed him in my garage when he was 15 years old and he looked me dead in the eye then and said all I ever want to do is become a tattoo artist and work a classic tattoo. You know, there's so many, that is just like, you know, a handful of stories that go into that place, you know, that all kinds of people have. And I don't even feel like I own it. I feel like I'm just renting it for my lifetime and hopefully it'll go to a good person after me. Maybe my son, if not, I'll make sure it goes to somebody that, that cares about it just as much as I do, you know? I'm Tim Hendricks. Uh, I'm a tattooer, tattoo machine builder, artist, painter, drawer, anything I can get my hands on.